I like angels. It's just like something spiritual to me. I've been a cop 28 years and I've never ever come across something like this. I felt like they disrespected my parents. Somebody was out there messing with their grave, and I didn't like it. Just going into the cemetery, taking stuff off people's graves is just really creepy. I mean, it's just, it's bad. Deborah Farinella loves angels. She's been collecting them for years, picking them up wherever she can find them. I go to garage sales, I go to a store, I go to a thrift store, I'll go wherever. It has to be certain angels, like pretty ones. But Deborah doesn't just buy them, she steals them from her local cemetery. My mom passed away. When she was dying, she thanked me for taking care of her. She said that it should be my angel always watching over me. I bought an angel and put it on the shelf in memory of my mother. It just caught my eye and I just started collecting them. It's just like something spiritual to me. Over time, Deborah's love of angels builds into an obsession. I was so bad with them, if I went to a friend's house and they had an angel or a fairy, I would ask if I could buy it from them. I just had them lined up in front of my house. I was proud of it. It's going to be OK, Daddy. In 2012, Deborah's father becomes seriously ill and moves in with her. Deborah surrounds him with angels from her collection. I felt that the angel was there to protect him. <laughs> Deborah's father dies. During this time, Deborah says she met a friend, and they started going to the St. Cloud Cemetery together. One day we went riding around and looking for garage sales, and we passed the cemetery. She goes, oh, pull in there, look at all the nice stuff. And I looked, and I saw, wow, it's so peaceful. It's like, you know, quiet and relaxing. I said, oh, that's nice over there. And she goes, go get it. They're only going to throw it away. They're just going to throw them out. Oh, come on. This one. Yeah, I dig it. Look at you. Pretty butterfly. They were by graves, but they were like real, real old. They were rusty, they were dirty. And I figured I could fix that angel up real nice. Deborah is taking her obsession to a new level. She's now breaking the law. And soon, she'll rob from the wrong grave. For Deborah Farinella, the sudden death of her father is deeply traumatic. She goes from collecting angels that she buys at stores and garage sales to taking them from graveyards. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't thinking clearly. I don't know. I, I don't know. There are few people in St. Cloud who take as much pride in their parents' graves as Pam Neal. My mom passed in 2012. And I go out there during the day. I go out there and talk to her, and we've always decorated it. In April 2013, Pam starts to notice things missing from her parents' grave. I went out there on her birthday and noticed that some of the solar lights that I had just purchased were gone. Pam's husband is a detective with the St. Cloud Police Department. It was personal items that 
really nobody else would want or really need. So that's what made it creepy about the whole thing. Hey, Terry, it's Pam. I had just got a flower arrangement, and I put out there, and I was just thinking maybe the wind blew it away. I noticed somebody pulling in behind me rather fast, got my attention. And I'm watching the lady, and I could tell that she stopped right in front of Miss Rose's um, cemetery plot. What is that? I thought, oh my God, this has got to be the lady that's been stealing stuff from the cemetery. Terry's able to get part of the woman's license plate number. Then she calls Detective Neal. We started just scouring the neighborhoods. A few days later, Terry spots the car in her driveway. Can I help you? That's when I yelled at her and said, I'd like you to explain where you got these. I recognize this flower. No. You stole this from the graveyard. She's not going to admit to it. Soon, both Pam and Terry arrive. Terry identifies Deborah as the woman in the cemetery. And Pam identifies items from her parents' grave. I bought all of these. What do we have here? What is going on? Police arrest and charge Deborah with theft from at least five graves. They seize 150 items from her home. There was about 15 cops at that house. 15. Crime unit and all was at my house. You think I murdered somebody? 